<laughs> so do you get tired of telling your kids go clean the room? Go clean your room. I'll do it once you clean your printer. Hey everybody, welcome back to E3-3D, where we make mistakes. So you don't have to. And I'm Mike. And I'm Sierra. And before we start this video, I need you to pause it, hit subscribe, hit the like button, go on and share this video because you're going to love it. Hopefully. And then hit the notification bell. And then while you're at it, click on our Patreon account and go over there and support us over there. Uh, because this, the support we get from you over there helps make these videos better so speaking of mistakes um we haven't taken care of this printer since we've gotten it i've done a bunch of upgrades to it i've scrapped a bunch of filament off to the side of the bed so i didn't have to clean it off like she said earlier we are going to do maintenance on our car cheaty printer i tried you do maintenance on your car i'll do the printer deal 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 <laughs> She still ain't doing the car. It's going to be on me. That's a lie. I know how to change for <laughs> So I uh, reached out to Cheaty Support and said, hey, what maintenance needs to be done on the printer? Now, I mean, obviously, we've got the, the normal maintenance of, you know, cleaning off the uh, nozzle and stuff like that and keeping filament from falling down underneath the bed. Okay. Some of us do. I don't. Um, I have to. Yeah. Well, has to. I just brush it off. Um, so, <laughs> sorry. So, anyways, I reached out to them and said, hey, what needs done for maintenance? And you know what they said? What did they say? They said, well, you don't have to do much maintenance, but here's the few things. They did. That's exactly what they said. And then, in that same email, they said, hey, use this. So, I went to that Amazon Amazon. 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 <laughs> I went to Amazon and bought what they recommended. They recommended this stuff, who I am not sponsored by. Um, but hey, here's your product, 3M. You're welcome. Yep. Uh, so, what is it? It is the Car Care 3M silicone paste. Okay, so it's a silicone paste. So, we're going to show you where to put it, how to put it, where not to put it. And yes, kids, that means not in your mouth. We don't eat this. This is not normal paste like school, okay? Caution. May cause eye and skin irritation. Okay, so make sure you wear all safety precautions when you do this. If the video does not show safety precautions, it's because don't worry. I'm an expert. We make mistakes so you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Multiple trips to the ER later. Woo! <laughs> so we're going to show you how to do all this. And uh, we're going to take the printer apart. We're going to strip down the sides. We are going to turn it on its side. I'm going to pull the bottom off. I'm going to clean it out. I'm going to make sure that my uh, ribbon cable for my Raspberry Pi isn't kinked up in there anywhere. Make sure everything's good to go. Vacuum it out. Not going to vacuum the motherboard. But I'll probably get a can of air and blow it. Or just, I don't know. Whatever works. Or just adulting. It's okay. <laughs> And then we'll vacuum out the inside. We'll uh, apply this stuff and that video will show you how to do this. And then uh, your nozzle, we'll show you a couple ways that we take care of that. Um, one way, not so smart, paper towel, 220 degrees Celsius. Not the smartest, but it works. Uh, and then we'll use the wire brush to show you the proper way to do it. So let's get this thing clean.
There's no ending. How are we gonna end it? All right, so I didn't do an ending for this. So here's what I'm gonna tell you right now. I know some of you are gonna look at me and say, hey, why did you do that video like that? Why did you put the lubrication there? And the reason why is because that's what Chidi Customer Sport told us to do. The only reason I'm following that is because if for some reason something goes wrong, it's still covered under warranty because I've got it on email. As you can see, that's where they want it. So that's why we did it. Once I got it all back together, did it work? It did. This is from the Filament One March subscription box right here. And if you like them, go down below, click the link, and get that subscription box yourself. I hope this video was helpful for you. If it was, make sure you like, share, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. We'll see you in a couple more days for something real big. Cheers.